this afternoon I'm fishing Lake Wartuk and the Grampians. I'm land based today because I can't get the boat out of a shed, we've just concreted the drive so see if I can get a trout off here this afternoon. The conditions are pretty good, a bit breezy so I'm going to use a running sinker. Usually I fish scrub worms unweighted here but with a bit of a breeze I'm just going to use a running sinker. Might try some power bait too and I might bang some mud eyes out later in the evening if the wind dies down anyway. Let's get these rods out and see if I can get a trout or two. Just using a simple running sinker setup bead to the swivel four pound leader and just a little gamma katsu hook a size eight i'll put a scrub worm on this rod nice large scrubby just hook them singly if i can get him on it's pretty lively Put a bit of Strikers Nuclear Pilchard scent on it. That works really good at water. Really good. You don't cast them out too far here to try to ride in close to the wall. Anywhere right in the front here is good. Not too far, about there. Sometimes this time of year the trout come along here trying to spawn. They can't actually breed in here but they still try. Let it sink. Check the drag. Find a crack in the rock to put your rod. You want your rod sitting down a bit so the trout can pull line freely. As you put a bit of this reed on the line, this is a bite indicator. Put a rod bell on it. Waiting game starts. Get the other rod out there. For my second rod, I'm just going to put some power bait on. Just a little gamakatsu hook, uh, size 8. 4 pound leader. It's a small swivel. A glow bead just to protect the knot and an extra attractant. They glow underwater, they're quite good. Just a little bean sinker and six pound main line. Get some power bait. I like the um, Berkeley Gulp. I reckon that's a really strong smelling one. Smells a bit stronger than the nuggets you buy, I reckon. I reckon this one works best for me. I'll put a fair bit on. Some people just put a little bit, but I'll put a fair, fairly big dob on. Works really good for the rainbow trout here. I've never caught anything else on power boat apart from rainbow trout, but you do hear of the odd brown trout and the occasional redfin, but generally they don't take it. A bit of extra smell. Put this nuclear pilchard scent on it. It's a really good combination. Let's get it out there. Put it away from that other rod just a little bit. Don't have to cast out too far here. Fish are usually in pretty close. Out there. Let it sink. It's quite deep there. The power bait floats. So running sinker. Let's the power bait suspend really nicely above the bottom. Should sit about a metre above the bottom. Perfect. That's where the trout generally cruise along here. Find a little crack in the wall. Put the rod. Beautiful. Trap set. Now we just got to wait. Shouldn't take too long. There's been a few fish here lately. Really nice conditions. We'll be able to get one, I reckon. I reckon they're from Horsham. It's got a little bite on the scrub worm. Good, good. He's running a bit. A bit finicky, he might be ready. You always catch one just after a boat goes past. Must be the water movement. Let him run for a bit before I strike him. See if we can hook him.
think we got him. Not very big. Just a little ready, I think. What do we got? Oh, I got a trout. Beautiful. Not very big, though. Well, look at those minnows jumping out of water. They're scared of him. Big school of minnows there. A little rainbow. Brown, not brown. Nice little fish. It's a good start. Beautiful. I'll let him go. Nice little brownie. Good start on the scrubby. And the nuclear pilchard scent. Nice little brownie. We'll let him go. Off he goes, beautiful. Absolutely spot on, perfect conditions for what I'm doing here. Really good. Right, I've just seen a trout rising pretty close into the wall, so I'm going to fish a mud eye under a float. So I'm going to wind in one of these rods and um, fish a mud eye, see and pick up that trout that was actively rising. I think he was charging into the minnows, eating the minnows, so wind in one of these, flick out a mud eye, see if we can ping him. I reckon we'll get him. The weather's starting to calm off a bit now too, so it's perfect for mud eye fishing. It's really good conditions. I love using this nuclear pilchard on the mud eyes. Works really good. I'll just show you how good it works. I even put on the float. A really strong oily smell. Works really well. Saw a trout rise here before. Let's see if we can get him. Shouldn't be too hard. Don't have to cast out far here. Just have a look here, there's minnows spawning right alongside the wall here. Yeah, dropping eggs there. Look at them. They're spawning. There'll be a heap of eggs there. See all the minnow eggs? Everywhere. Not sure if you can actually see them or not. There's just eggs everywhere. There's some eggs on my fingers there. Here you go, minnows spawning on the wall. And a big trout just jumped over there too. So the bubble float drifted right into the wall. And it's actually got to run now. That's how close the trout sit to this wall. You don't need to cast out very far. There's a fish on there now, if you can see the float moving. Just let him run with it for a bit. Just a little ready, I think. Yeah, nothing exciting. It's annoying. Oh well, we'll try again. We've got a run on the float now. There goes the tree out. He's on it. A little rainbow, I think. Yeah, he's on it. Here he goes. Still let him run a bit just to be on the safe side. It's a nice little rainbow. Oh, this weather's beautiful. It's cold though. All right, he's ready to hook. Got him. Not a bad fish. He took that right in close to the wall. Nice fish.
coming in pretty easy. It's not real big. Not too bad though. Healthy little fish, full of fight. Nice rainbow. Here he comes. Yeah. Got him. Nice rainbow. He's a very nice rainbow. Very nice buck rainbow in the mud eye. Very nice rainbow. I tried to release him, but he wasn't going to release properly, so I thought I might as well keep him. Beautiful fish just on the mud eye. Bit of striker's nuclear pilchard scent, just mud eye under a bubble float. Conditions are pretty good, but the fishing's pretty slow. I reckon they're going to fire up towards evening, though. Still a little bit early yet, still a little bit bright, but yeah, I reckon towards evening we're going to get a few more of these. Anyway, let's keep plugging along and see what we can do. Right, that red bubble float for mud eye on it, it's got another bite. That's what they're after today, the mud eyes. That'll be another trout, I reckon, so we'll just let him run for a bit. We'll strike him and see if we can catch him. I might actually bring that other rod in later and put another mud eye out because it's pretty obvious they want the mud eyes. Beautiful conditions for fishing the mud eye. Probably another rainbow I reckon. He's starting to run there. Yeah, he's taken off like a big rainbow I reckon. He goes, and he's not so big. Still a trout though. Strike him in a minute. Should be about ready, I reckon. There he goes. Swimming towards me. Not a bad fish. Here he comes. Where is he? Not too bad. Beautiful day for it, loving it. Zephyr would be loving this, he loves his trout. Another rainbow. There's so many of them about. They're loving the mudlies today. Let's see if we can get him. Good fighters. Full of beans, the rainbows. It's going to wear him out. A very healthy fish in water. Can't seem to wear him out. Pretty fit.
Grimm. Yeah, it Nice fish. He's a bit bigger, that one. Good fish. Nice rainbow. Beautiful. I'll keep that one, I reckon. Very nice. Getting a few together now. We've got one brown, one ready, and a couple of nice rainbows. Mud eyes under a float best at the moment. They're both bucks, too. Beautiful fish. Fishing's a little bit slow. I've caught a few little reddies on the mud eyes since we got those trout, but um, it's pretty quiet on the power boat. Haven't had a bite on the power boat. It's much too breezy now, and the wind's coming straight into shore to use the bubble float and just keeps drifting in. So it's a running bubble float. Just keeps floating in. So I've got this little ball sinker. I'll cut this off, put the ball sinker first, and then the float. See how that cork comes straight off? Just got little slits cut in it. Cut him off there. Take the float off. All right, put that little ball sinker on first. Free running. So just anchor it in place. Put the bubble float on. Slide it straight through. Tie on the swivel to the leader. So this cork with the slits cut in it just determines how deep you fish the mud. I'm fishing it fairly deep here. Just slide the line through it, just into the slit there. Just wrap it around a few times. Doesn't damage the line. So there you have it. Running sinker on a bubble float rig. And I'll anchor it nicely. And it doesn't put the fish off. We've caught lots of fish doing this. Don't have to cast them out too far. Give it a heap of line just to let that sinker go down the bottom to anchor it there. But if a float sits about there, that's a good spot. You can see the line moving where the sinker's just going down. Beautiful. And there you have it, land-based fishing, Wartook Wall. Fishing wasn't red hot, but got a couple of nice rainbows, got a little brown and a few other little reddies, so it was good fun. Tried all different types of baits. Tried power bait, no good. Corn, no good. Uh, one trout on the scrub worm, but mud eyes were definitely the best. Anyway, I'm just going to give it another 10 minutes or so, and I'll pack up and head back to Horsham. Uh, next trip will be Rockhorns going back to Hines's, so stay tuned for another Yai Belly video, hopefully, and we'll try to get some cod. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next adventure.